In this video, I'm going to explain to you step by step exactly how to resign on Workday. So what you're going to do firstly, as you can see, is to log in into Workday. So go to your company's Workday login page. Then you're going to enter your username and then enter your password, of course. And then what you're going to do after that is to navigate to your profile. So you will need to click on your profile picture or name in the top right corner. Then you're going to select where it says view profile from the drop down menu. Then what you're going to do after that in the step number three is to access the job menu. So on the left hand side, click on actions next to your job title. Under job change, select resign. Sometimes labeled as submit resignation, just so you know. So that it can also be the what it's called basically. And then step number four, fill out resignation details. So choose your last working day. Enter the reason for leaving, for example, personal reasons, new opportunity, or whatever else you actually have going on for you, of course. Then you're going to add comments if needed. This is optional, but I would actually, personally, I would recommend that you actually add a comment. That kind of gives a little bit more respect to the job, uh, yeah, to the one that is providing you the job to the company, in, just in my opinion. Attach any documents if your company requires it like a formal resignation letter, which is also very good to do in my opinion. Step number five, submit your resignation. So review all the information you entered, then click on submit to officially send your resignation request to your manager or the HR. Then step number six, wait for confirmation. You may receive a confirmation message, your manager or HR, depending on how, your, how the company that you work for actually has structured this, they will likely follow up to acknowledge your resignation and begin the offboarding process. Some of them might even want to have an interview with you and ask why you want to be able to leave. Basically more like to get more info, I guess. This is all. This is not always going to happen, but some companies I think do that for sure. And here are some important notes. Some companies require a formal conversation. Yeah, before using Workday, as I said before, make sure to follow your company's resignation policy. That is very important because every company is different, of course. You can't retract your resignation in Workday after submitting it unless your HR cancel, cancel it themselves, basically. So yeah, this is exactly how to do this.